hi guys thanks for coming to my youtube channel and if this is your first time here you are welcome and in this channel i share with you tips and advice how to run successful zazu store so if you are on your zazu journey go ahead subscribe to my channel and thank you guys for supporting this channel we are growing and hopefully my tips are helping you guys so on today's video i'm going to share with you things that you need to do in your zazu store in order to increase your store z rank so i'm going to be looking at down here because i have some notes so i don't forget to let you know the things all the things that you need to do in order to increase your zazu store z rank because i tend to get a lot of questions from you guys asking me how to increase your store z rank so i'm going to share with you things that i have done based on my experience and things that notice that makes a diff big difference and also guys because i want to help you i want you guys to be successful with your zazu business so i have put also together my zazu a blueprint guide in order to help you run and build profitable successful zazu business and generate sales so the link for this uh, uh, blueprint you can go ahead under this video and you can download this so you can get all the tips all the popular niches popular products i have put in there a lot of things that it hopefully is going to help you because those are the things that i have done in my store and it has helped me a lot so let's get started on today's videos so how do you increase your Zazu Z rank? There are a few, few things that you need to do. So I have divided it into two sections. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to complete the Zazu requirement task. So basically when you sign in on Zazu, in, on the dashboard, you're going to see there's a section that it requ is requ requesting you for, for you to add certain things. Well, that could be add a banner. Uh, add uh, uh, 10 social media images, share, create collection, share your collection. You're just going to see the, the list which is requesting for you to do. So that is the first part. That is what I, 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 I always, uh, what I did in my store. So when you complete those uh, sections, you're going to see it's going to be giving you like a percentage, like maybe it's going to say you have completed it at 80%, 100%. Or fifty percent. So try to complete it as um, as much as I can. My one I have completed is up to a hundred percent complete. So if you can get it to a hundred percent complete, that's gonna be great. But if you not getting it to a hundred, try at least get it near one hundred percent complete. After you have done that bit, based on my experience, the next thing it has to do with sales. This is what I noticed in my own store. That's why I said I'm going to divide this uh, topic into two sections. The section that Azazu, they require you to complete certain things. And then there's a part that is require you as a business owner what you need to do in order to increase those uh, uh, Z rank. The next part, like I say, it has to do with sales. This is what I noticed. The more sales that a, a particular store is getting, I noticed the Z rank, or Z rank goes up. So if your, your store is, your, your sales are, are really, really down, I noticed that the Z rank also goes down. Like maybe let's say you had um, a Z rank of se seven, number seven. And then you're making consistent sales. The sales that keep on coming, keep on coming. You're going to notice, pay attention to that Z rank. You're going to notice that the Z rank tend to go up. You might go to eight or nine, depending on how well you are selling. And then if you notice a couple of months, the sales are going down. You're not making much sales, maybe like you did in a couple of the months. That Z rank also goes, uh, goes down. So... The way I see the way the Z rank works, it has to do with a uh, half of it has to do with sales, and then the half of it it have to do with you completing the requirements as I was telling you, like to to build your brand, to build your business, to represent it well when the Zazu shoppers when they come in the store, so they you look professional because all, most of the shops in Zazu those who, the people who are doing well when you look at their store, the store is well presented. It's like a wow when you see you say wow you wanna stay there you wanna look at more product so like i said the bit that you have to complete based on such a requirement and then the bit that you have to do with the sales the more sales you are getting it also helps your z rank goes up 
Now you might say, oh, okay then. So how do I get those cells? How do I increase cells? The way you can increase the cell, it has to do few things. Like I always tell you guys, it's all, it's not about, uh, uh, how do I make a hundred a hundred dollar, one thousand dollar? It's based. The sales is going to come when you start meeting the Zazu customer demand. In any type of business, any business that is doing well, whether McDonald's, KFCs, if you do a research, if a business is doing well, there are some ways somehow they are meeting the client's demand. So it's the same thing with your Zazu store. So if you want to increase this Z rank when it comes to the sales section, you have to give the customer what they want. You need to start designing based on the design which is the the customer customer searching for the ones which are popular you have to try also to put your design your patterns on the, those popular product now the next question you might ask yourself if you have been on wow on sazu and you're not doing so well or if you're new you might ask so okay then so how do i know this product you need to spend time on Zazu platform, do a research. You're going to notice there are certain products that are always popping at the front. There are certain products that are always pushing. And also on my blueprint, I have gave you a list of the popular niches, popular products, uh, some of the popular even uh, some of the popular uh, uh, groups of particular birthdays. So you need to know those type of things. It helps you because when you are designing on the customer's need, then if a customer comes across your product, let's say they come across your phone cases and it's exactly the type of the colors they were looking for. It might not be the, exactly part, the exact pattern, but if it's the color there, they might forget about the pattern, but they just might they'll buy it because of, that is the color they want. So it's all about uh, designing what customers want. That's why you have to do a research because with Zazu platform, they have a platform, they have so much product and uh, uh, it's impossible for me to sit here and list you give you a whole list of the popular product because it's so it's quite a lot and what might be popular sometimes what might be popular working well in your store it might be completely different from another person what is working well in their store do you understand so those things is important and also uh, promoting your product on social media on instagram on facebook on pinterest to drive those sales that is going to is going to help your z rank goes up because there's uh, people feel like there's uh, this uh, magic secret when it comes to z rank there's something there it, there's no secret i'm telling you straight forward it has to do with you completing those uh, requirements as just asking there and then it has to do also with sales. And the only way you can get sales is uh, by doing a research and meeting the customer's demand. The, then the sales they will come because if you're not providing the customer what they want, you won't get the sell. So it's simple as that. And also you have to make sure that the design you are designing, it's uh, your design school, you keep on improving, you keep on getting better every single time. And then give the customer option to also customize the product. So you know the with the, with the Zazu platform, most of them it's really known for customizing. So if like you put a phone case there, they can put their own name. You have to give them that option, like uh, try to give them an option instead of just putting the pattern, they try to even at least add uh, a section where the client can put their own name or their own initial, something like that, or even a particular quote. So they just have that option. They can put in any message they want. That is also going to help. So guys, uh, hopefully this video has helped you. And if you have any comment, leave it below. I'll try my best to answer it. If sometime I might not get time to answer all the questions, but I do try my best to answer as much as I can. And don't forget to download the Zazu Blue, my Zazu Blueprint guide in order to help you if you feel stuck and if you're unsure whether you're a beginner, whether you, you've been in Zazu for a while and you're not seeing much result. That Blueprint really is going to help you because I have worked on it so hard and I have done put there what I have done in my own Zazu business. So hopefully it's going to help you. And guys, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.